After having visited Goat Lake the weekend before, we decided that we wanted to spend more time there and wanted to attempt to summit Thompson Peak. We read and heard from others on the trail that it was easiest to reach Thompson Peak via Goat Lake, so we figured we could give it a shot. We met up with Am's friend Stella again and set out on the now familiar trail. The weather wasn't looking promising for the weekend. It was one of the first times in our five weeks out west that rain was on the radar. And we were a little bit nervous about being caught on top of a mountain in a storm. When we got to the top, we found a spot of service and checked the radar, and ultimately decided that instead of staying for two nights, we should stay for only one. This meant that attempting to get to Thompson Peak was going to happen that afternoon. So we set up camp, cooled off in the lake, and ate some lunch. This is cold. It's honestly not that bad getting in. It's the sitting here that sucks. I just peed. We hiked to the other side of Goat Lake and up to the next lake. We ended up hiking around a total of three lakes above Goat Lake, all just as beautiful and just as chilly. It 
Eventually, the weather started to look iffy as darker clouds were making their way over the peaks toward us. We decided to nix the rest of the hike to Thompson Peak and headed back to camp, knowing that one day we'd be back to try again. Show me what you got. Tell me about your dinner. We've got three sisters stew that has to cook for 30 minutes. So what's in it? It's got olive oil, rice, black beans, quinoa, green chili pepper sauce, chili powder, savory soup base. So it's sea chili. Salt. No, it's stew. Nice. Let's see it. <gasps> oh no. Disaster. <laughs> In the wild, what? the disaster has struck. on us a little as we made dinner, so we decided to eat in the tent. Right. First bite! <laughs> How is it? I mean, it's a little bit crunchy, but I feel like it's it's okay to eat. Yeah, it's delicious. Three sister stew! The clouds cleared up after we finished eating, and we explored around our campsite a bit more before bed. Days worth. Here. Do we need to start bringing like a, a Miralax yeah. or something? I don't know. Maybe it, but it's it's like coffee doesn't even do it to you. I have coffee this morning. Yeah, I did too. So that's not a valid point. Coffee does it occasionally. What normally prompts your bowel movements? The morning. <laughs> Feeling good. <laughs> it's it really is dependent on my comfortableness. Okay. I don't feel comfortable right now. I get that. I probably could. <laughs> we even found enough cell reception to FaceTime some people we love and show them the view of the sunset. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cool. It is really cool. Yeah, we're having fun. It's a good time. You need some like music or? No, no I'm good. Music oh. actually distract me. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stick with my left leg. <laughs> Skip it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Skip it? <laughs> I could try. <laughs> Skip. The next morning, Am and I got up to see the sunrise over Goat Lake. It was breathtaking. breakfast, we gathered our things and we packed up camp. I always find it to be pretty spectacular that everything we need to make a pop-up home can fit on our backs. We made it back down the mountain safe and sound, and I think that's when it hit that our second to last weekend in Idaho had come to a close. Not to worry though, we made the most of the last one. <laughs>